Awesome. Welcome, everybody. This is the Barbican project update and overview. Uh, my name is Douglas Mendizabal. For those who don't know me, I'm the PTL for Barbican for the train cycle. Uh, taking over the baton for Adi, who's also here to help me with the hard questions. Um, quick overview uh, of Barbican. Hopefully, everybody in here knows what Barbican does, uh, but it's a secret and key manager for OpenStack. Uh, and so it's a RESTful service, uses Keystone tokens like the rest of any OpenStack service. Uh, it can be used by operators, users, or other OpenStack projects to uh, manage encryption keys, passphrases, any kind of secret you might want to um, keep safe. And um, it can uh, create secrets for you, uh, store them, manage them, um, etc. A uh, little bit of background, it was founded during the Havana release. It was actually part of the Rackspace team that started Barbican back in the day. Uh, so it's fun to be uh, PTLing again. Uh, teams, uh, the, the project's about six and a half years old. For the Stain release, which just came out a couple of weeks ago, uh, we had 26 contributors from 15 different companies. It's a bit of a drop from the previous um, cycle. And I think a lot of it has to do with we haven't really added a whole lot of new features. Um, but uh, we're always looking for more contributors, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, some of the features that we did add in Stein was uh, finally allowing UUIDs to be used in the clients instead of HREFs. Um, that still needs a little bit of polish, but for the most part, it's there. Um, CLI does a little bit of weird things when you're using UUIDs, uh, which we've got some bugs for that we're going to fix uh, and hopefully backboard for Stein. Uh, as far as security, we, we made some improvements to the HashiCorp uh, vault plugin. One of them was uh, to be able to use just arbitrary uh, configurable backends for the um, mount points is the correct term there. Uh, and also uh, app role credentials are able to be used now in Vault. So it's making a little bit uh, better option for using Vault as a backend to Barbican and also to Castellan if you want to do uh, Castellan straight to Vault. Um, we also did uh, work on some enhancements for the PKCS 11 interface, um, especially with getting compatibility with ATOS and TALIS HSMs. Uh, and we've been doing a lot of work on testing those downstream as well. Um, we did some work on rolling upgrades. There's still some outstanding patches for um, the also versioned objects and database. So we're hoping to finish that for the train cycle. Uh, some of the cross-project stuff that we did, I think the, the one that we put the most effort into was getting Triple O to be able to automatically deploy Barbican with an HSM backend. Uh, and right now we're supporting both of those uh, Talus and Hitas machines. Um, Fortranex is still, as far as I know, still working, or they still have their own uh, sort of custom backend that is working. Um, I don't know much about the airship deckhand and peg leg integrations. Uh, and if you're curious, maybe we can hunt down Adi a little bit later and, and find out about those. Uh, we do have performance tests in Rally now. Um, we did document, uh, I don't think we did a whole lot of document work. Uh, the policy stuff we did polish uh, during the cycle. Uh, we did do a bunch of work on the Python 3 first community goals. I think for the most part, the API works on there. I want to say the only outstanding thing is one of the management tools needs to be um, enhanced to work under Python 3. Uh, Barbican managed right now. There's a couple of functions that'll, that don't work on Python 3. Uh, but for the most part, we're, we're almost there. We have the upgrade checkers framework in place now. Uh, we don't have any upgrade checkers yet. Um, so maybe that might be something we'll work on in training. I'm not sure. Um, a little overview of the plugins. Uh, we still have sort of the ones that we've always had. Uh, simple crypto, not, not any changes there. Uh, PKCS 11 with storage in the database, like I mentioned, we've, we've enhanced the compatibility to a couple of new vendor HSMs. Um, and I think we're, we're actually able to work with soft HSM now if you want to do some testing with that. Um, the KMIP backend uh, still doesn't have an owner, uh, sort of since the APL folks at Johns Hopkins Stop contributing. Uh, nobody's really been interested or, or wanted to maintain that. Um, 
we have a broken gate that we're hoping to fix, uh, but uh, sort of long term, I'm not sure what's going to happen with KMIP. If that's something you're interested in, uh, come talk to us. We'd love to have someone else help with that. Um, Doctag and Vault backend. Doctag, there really wasn't much change. Uh, it's, it's still working as usual. Um, and like I mentioned for Vault, we've got uh, app roles and uh, different mount points uh, supported now. For, I um, already mentioned that. Uh, sort of on the, on the roadmap, we want to really get a, a soft HSM gate at the gate so that we're also testing upstream. I know Red Hat's doing a lot of downstream testing of the PKCS11 backends, uh, but we would like to have some upstream testing as well uh, so we can catch any potential bugs earlier in the life cycle. Um, we're still interested in SGX and TPM integration. I don't think there's, it's sort of like the, with the KMIP backend, there's not really anybody pushing for it uh, that's super interested in it. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, let us know. That'd be cool. Uh, as far as the clients, uh, like I mentioned, uh, the CLI is able to handle UIDs now instead of references. I know that's sort of been a pain point in Barbican for years. Uh, so we're, we're real glad to be, to be able to do that now. Um, and uh, the Castellan uh, client uh, with Vault also supports roles and, and mount points. Um, like I mentioned, there's, there's still a couple of, of warts on the UID stuff on the CLI. We're going to polish those off. Um, for the next cycle. And then there's, uh, in my opinion, there's like one more feature for Vault that we need to, to really make it production ready. And that's to be able to configure uh, paths of where the secrets are actually stored in Vault. Uh, right now, sort of anything you put into Vault gets stored at the root of your mount point, uh, which if you put a couple thousand secrets in there, it's going to get real messy. Uh, and it also uh, give you a chance to, in the same mount point, um, be able to have different policy for different Castellan instances accessing your vault backend. Um, documentation, we, I think we, we fixed a little bit. Uh, there's always, I, I guess like any other project, there's always a lot of documentation work to do. So if you like writing docs or you just hate the docs that are there, uh, come talk to us. We would love to get some help with that. Um, I think one of the things we want to do is uh, document the sort of security trade-offs and feature trade-offs of different backends. Uh, I know we're giving a talk on tomorrow uh, at five on sort of listing it out. And we just want to put that on paper and put it out in the docs for you guys to have. Uh, cross project integrations, there wasn't really uh, anything new that I'm aware of last cycle except for getting triple O to be able to deploy HSMs, uh, which is really good. And I'm not aware of anything coming up for trains. So if you're working on another project, are interested in using Barbicane for storing any kind of secret credentials, uh, come talk to us. We'd be happy to help you figure out uh, what the best way of doing that would be. Uh, for access policy, I, I think we finally finished all the policy and cut stuff uh, last cycle. So that should all be um, short up. There's really not, not much on our radar, uh, but if Keystone decides to do anything, of course, we're going to follow their lead and, and support what, whatever it is that they're doing. There has to be a new um, user survey. Uh, so these are all still the stats from last time. 10% um, production use, which is awesome. 21% um, interested, which is pretty cool, too. Uh, and like I mentioned, uh, we'd love to get some help. Um, we don't have as many contributors as we have had in the past. Um, and so if you're interested in learning more about Barbican, working on it, maybe something that, that is hurting your workflow that you'd want to work on, uh, come talk to us. I'd be more than happy to help mentor people that are interested in learning more about Barbican uh, and contributing to it. And uh, that's all we have. Any questions? Question in the back. Yeah, yeah, it's the same UUID. So if you remember, the entire time Barbican's had refs that ended in a UUID, we're returning just the UUID now. So you could, you could rebuild the ref if you need to, uh, or still use the ref if you want to still use that. So.
Cool. Any other questions? This was short and sweet. Awesome. Uh, cool. Well, we'll be around here. Uh, if you guys think of something else, uh, maybe in a few minutes. Oh, geez, I really wanted to ask this. Uh, we'll be here in the Barbican t-shirts. So, cool.